NBC News has also projected, interestingly, that turnout was lower than expected, lower than expected for tonight's caucuses. Now, that may have in large part been due to the frigid temperatures in Iowa, the coldest Iowa caucus day ever. It may be because of political factors. It may be some combination. We don't know. But the projected turnout tonight is about 130,000. That's down from more than 185,000 in 2016 in the Republican caucuses. Now we assume that Nikki Haley will head straight for New Hampshire, where the next votes will be cast next week. That is the, the, the state in which she is polling strongest. It's where polls show her definitely within striking distance of Donald Trump. Ron DeSantis has said that he plans to head not to New Hampshire next, even though that's the next contest. He's planning to head straight to South Carolina before then heading back to New Hampshire to go to a debate later on this week. Donald Trump is headed to New Hampshire as well, but first he plans to make his own very Trumpian stop. He has to stop. Well, he doesn't have to. <laughs> He's choosing to stop in New York to attend one of his many trials. This one, a trial beginning tomorrow to determine how much money he has to pay to writer E. Jean Carroll for sexually assaulting and defaming her. This is a trial as to not as to whether or not the sexual assault happened, but how much he has to pay her in damages because of it. And that's what he's going to do. He doesn't have to do that, but that's what he's going to do before he heads on to New Hampshire, because that's where he thinks the political punch <laughs> is for him. In case you needed any... Any further reminder that this is an election year like no other. And, and it won't impact. I mean, the thing about it is, again, we were talking about these, these heavily religious voters. That, who, it is kind of one of the stunning facts of Donald Trump's political career that no amount of his elocution about sexual assault has impacted negatively his runs for office in any way. I mean, after uh, the Access Hollywood tape, I will never forget being uh, in, uh, in, in Ohio um, and, have, and, and seeing women wear that T-shirt that said, Trump can grab my... Mm. Seeing women, you know, at the convention buy and put on that shirt. You know, these were women who would consider themselves to be good Christians who embraced Donald Trump. They didn't reject at all the idea that he would, you know, start by saying, oh, I didn't do that, then saying, you know, I might have done it, and saying, you know what, that's locker room talk, and then saying, so what, I did it, what's wrong with it? And the fact that that, that he is now facing not the question of whether or not he sexually abused E. Jean Carroll, but just how much money he has to pay her because he lied about it. Yeah. And this will have no impact whatsoever any more than him stealing classified documents or trying to overturn an election and stage a coup. None of it matters. With his base. With his, with his voters. But not necessarily the whole country. That's right. That's a very And with the Republicans writ large, because sorry, does it matter to Mitch McConnell? Does, apparently not. Does it matter to any of the Republicans who we think behind the scenes despise him? We just saw Doug Burgum, who once said he wouldn't do business with Donald Trump, turn around and endorse him ahead of the Iowa caucuses. They've all fallen in line. They've all capitulated. They're but, all taking the knee. And I think everything you said is right about that proportion. And then there's the future we don't know, right? Because we don't know, as we've discussed earlier tonight, the independence, the general election, even if one out of ten Republican voters flip on him. And I've been very restrained tonight. I've gone as far as I can. <laughs> um, but most deaf did say. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Is here we the, go. Yes? The straw that broke the camel's back, what's the secret? A million other straws underneath it and we just don't know if and when the back will break right. but there are all these straws there are so many convicted trump aides i don't believe check me if i'm wrong rachel that we've mentioned any of them tonight mm. he is going into this campaign and yes he won iowa tonight leaving a trail of convicted aides lawyers indicted aides and a bunch of convicted Trump fans. And so there's a part of the country that wants to lie about that or call it a false flag, or Fox News got in a lot of trouble, had to pay a lot of money for platforming those lies repeatedly, and they have confused a lot of people about that. And there's, a, there's that wing. And then there's all these other straws on this camel's back yeah. and all these convicted fans. And one of the big questions that hangs over the trial calendar is whether, if the Supreme Court doesn't delay or stop the coup case, whether Donald Trump will be convicted and sentenced to go join his fans in prison. Now, I can't tell you whether that's going to happen or not, but that's a lot of straws that we haven't yet seen weighed by November.